Howdy friends, this is Lance, and this has been a long-awaited update from Jamboard that I've had lots of requests for, and I have sent lots of feedback for. So I'm excited to say that we now have the ability to set backgrounds. Well, we always had the ability to set backgrounds, but we have the ability to set the image as the background, so that way we can make things a little more permanent. So I'll give you an example of an activity here. This is a great article about setting expectations in a breakout room setting. So Jamboard worked great. If I wanted to take a screenshot, I'm on a Chromebook here. So it's control shift window button. And then I can take the screenshot and then hit copy, go to my Jamboard. Then all I have to do is hit control V to paste it in. And now I have this nice space. Now, if you were to push out this Jamboard to the students, the problem is, is that they can move these items around and they can delete it. Even though I put in text, even though I put in pictures, that causes a little bit of a, a struggle there as far as them kind of manipulating the learning experience. And then I have multiple pages here too with different pieces of that article. So if you want to set it so that way, this is not an issue. If you want to build it in Jamboard, because Jamboard is easy to use, because you have all these different tools over here on the left-hand side, whether it's text or whether it's a sticky note or just copying and pasting screenshots into your Jamboard. If you want to utilize it that way, after you've made it, you can go to the three dots here and you hit save frame as image. When you've done that, then you can delete this stuff. And I just click on it and hit backspace or delete, hit set background, and then hit image. And since I'm on a Chromebook, and I hit the browse button on the upload option, then what I can do is I can upload it directly. Now, I am gonna give you a heads up that if you are having text on your Jamboard, sometimes it does pixelate a little bit, you lose a little bit of the resolution, but here's the deal. These items don't move now. And so when students add their notes, then just on the screen, they can move these items around. So you can essentially set up all kinds of different scenarios with graphic organizers and having students collaborate together or just doing individual assignments because it also has a nice draw tool. So that way students can actually draw on the screen as well. And there's some different options there if you're not familiar with Jamboard. So let me give you one other example. So that was setting it up in Jamboard, taking a screenshot, piecing it in, just building in Jamboard. It's, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna jump ahead here and get a new frame. So I have a nice clean frame here. You can get new frames up here. Some people are just super comfortable with building Google Slides. So if they want to build or they already have Google Slides ready to go, you can actually take your Google Slides items and you can piece it directly in there. And the simple way to do that is to be on the slide that you want. Number one over here on the left, hit file and download and PNG image. Now you could just take a screenshot, but you might get a better quality image if you just download it. It just depends on your preference and your workflow, but I could have just hit the control shift window button, taken a screenshot of that, and it would have gone to my downloads folder as well. Whatever you wanna do, I'll go back to my Jamboard, set my background, choose the image option. There's upload, browse, my downloads, hit open, and now that image from my Google slide is directly on my Jamboard background. And it's nice because these items do not move around so that if students draw or if you want them to do notes or if you want them to insert their own image, they can do a Google image search and piece those items in. And they can even do some shapes. Shapes are fun too and they can move those around and adjust the size of them. And then if you want them to put text inside those shapes, they can use the text tool. Cool feature within Jamboard, using the background, using the image background for these frames. And I'm excited about this option because then when you're ready, you can assign it to Google Classroom, go to the Classwork tab, create assignment, and add from Google Drive. Insert your Jamboard and you decide, do you want students to collaborate on it together or do you want each student to get their own copy? Set your due date, set your topic, set your point total, and assign to your students. And now each student will get their own copy of my Jamboard that I created with backgrounds that they cannot move the items around.